Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time. I feel so weird. I haven't filmed in like so many months. I want to say at least four to five months. If you guys seen my last video, you guys know that I'm pregnant and right now I am seven and a half months. The last time I filmed, I think I was like two months. It's been a while and the reason why I haven't filmed is not because I'm pregnant, it's because I'm moving and everything is just everywhere. I'm not where I have to be right now, but I have some more to film today. So I decided to do this video for you guys and show you guys what I've been doing. I feel like it's been the perfect time for this because of my pregnancy. My face just got rounder, like I can feel it and I'm not gonna deny it. If you guys go to my previous videos, you guys will probably notice the difference. I see it in myself. Like I just feel like down here is just a little bit rounder. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing just to kind of give my face a more sculpt look when I'm going out or just when, you know, I have makeup on. And it's basically covering up and just getting rid of this like this double chin line like right there. Um, and also before we get started guys, I wanted to share with you guys that I am trying to reach to 10,000 subscribers before this year. I know I haven't filmed in a pretty long time and it's going to be pretty hard, meaning I will be back and I am going to be filming more constantly. So if you guys really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe or give a thumbs up to this video also share this tip with anybody else oh and before i forget the most important thing um i am planning a 10,000 subscriber giveaway okay, so if you guys have any thoughts i don't know what to give away yet but if um you guys have any thoughts of some specific product or new launch merch or whatever it is that you guys like or want leave me a comment down below so i can add it to the giveaway i am planning this now so it gives me a little bit of time again like i said the end of this year and so i'm going to show you guys what i've been doing and getting rid of not red but like you know hiding this double chin so if you guys are interested just keep watching the first thing is i'm going to show you guys when i look up you guys can see this is the main like double chin part that we all hate when i do my makeup my foundation and primer i always drag it down to my neckline so i always stop like around here kind of till i blend it down so for today i did use this foundation right here and this is the kat von d locket foundation and i just blended that with a regular beauty blender or beauty sponge or whatever this foundation is a bit messy but so the product that I've been using to do this is my KKW Beauty Contour Palette and this one is in the shade, oh, this one's in medium. So you guys can use whatever it is you want. The reason why I like to go in with this palette is because it has a contour powder and it has a bronzer so it helps to blend everything in and not make it look too dark and muddy in the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Morphe, I believe it's a Morphe M400 brush. It already kind of scratched off but it's an angle fluffy brush like this and what you want to do is go in with the darker shadow which is the contour one on the palette. So basically what you want to do is make this line right here how do I say? Not the darkest because you don't want a dark neck. You just want it to have like a darker contour reflection. So what we're going to do is do a triangle like this. And that's like the darker shade. So that's what we're trying to hide. So what I like to do is just contour that main area before I start. Like you guys can still see the, I don't move or anything, but you guys can see that it's there. Like my double, like while I talk and stuff, you guys can see like it comes out right there. This is a highlighted area right here. So if I talk, like obviously it's like this and you can't really see it, but I'll show you guys. So when I go like this, you guys can see that right here is a highlighted area. It's the color of my skin tone. So that's why it kind of pops out and you can see it. So if we darken this up, then even if we go like this, like you won't really be able to see it because it's darker and it's hidden and it's gonna basically go like a shadow. And we're gonna go in with the dark side of the palette. And right here where it's like a triangle, that's basically what we're trying to hide. So like a little triangle blend that in i look so white right now and you want to make sure that you um don't put too much because like i said you don't want to look like you have a very dark neck and you guys could take your time blend this in really really good so next, I'm just gonna go with a bigger, um, fluffier brush. I like to use a bigger brush simply because when I use a bronzer, it kind of just helps everything blend in rather than concentrating the bronzer just on one section. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the bronzer section and I'm just going to 
blend all the contour and all that and with this side I am going a little bit more on this side Okay, I also recommend doing this because this really helps your face kind of scope up and I'm gonna go in with my Bene Banana Powder, my camera accidentally stuff. I like to go in and just clean out my contour. So you want to bring it in a little bit in, almost close to your lip, but not too close. You don't want it like... So this is just gonna help you kind of like look a little bit like a fish. Like Normally I would do this and then I would do the chin, so... We're just gonna go back in again with the bronzer color and I'm just gonna blend out everything. I'm just gonna add some lip liner and lip gloss. I'll be right back just so my banana powder can sit a little longer. Okay, so I'm just going to um, dust this off. And I'm just gonna talk and you guys can see the difference that while I talk, you guys can't really see like the reflection of there because it's already like darkened so it doesn't look like a highlighted reflection it looks like contour so we basically darken this up so it blends in as a darker shadow and you guys won't be able to really see it and it just kind of makes your jaw look a lot more sculptor and nicer and that's what i've been doing to work with my pregnancy chubbier face so yeah that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoy this video and this quick tip on how i do it and i hope it works for you guys and for anybody else that needs this in their life and again if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and i hope to see you guys next time bye